Hi, this is Oddball 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox. And today, I've got some fun piracy stuff. Uh, I have been messing around for a while with different pirate ships. I've been building up a fleet of pirate ships because it's always fun to swap and change and pirate in different things. But I've hit upon one pirate ship, which just, I enjoy using. It is a fun, fun ship to use for piracy. Uh, it's a fun ship to use full stop. Frodo and Hera and Rob have been on at me for ages at the fun the, the Orca is. It's a super fast ship. It's got not bad shields. I mean, the Biweave recharges really quick. It's about 500 shield strength. And on Thermal Biweave, it's pretty decent. And with the flatline speed of the Orca, it doesn't boost as much or as violently as some ships, but it's still a fast ship. So, it is an interesting ship. Um, firepower wise, you've got two medium hard points and one large hard point, so it's pretty reasonable. I've actually only got a beam laser on my pirate one at the moment in this setup. I'm actually using two mine launchers as the other hard points, uh, because quite often you get chased away. And uh, yeah, chasing an orca with mines is a really, really annoying thing. So, you know, it's my little present for the people who chase me away when I'm pirating. And one large um, beam laser is enough to deal with a lot of people that we deal with when we're doing piracy. Let's face it, in a lot of cases, it's the threat of violence rather than the actual violence when it comes to piracy. Piracy is more about negotiating and roleplay as it is about actually trying to do damage and take drives out. And the one large beam laser on here is actually really effective at uh, melting shields. And uh, the mine launchers are just a fun addition to the ship. Uh, taking advantage of the flatline speed. Um, <laughs> I wish I had a bigger collector limit on board, but oddly, scooping is really easy in the Orca as well. So, all in all, it's a decent support pirate ship. Uh, has a reasonable cargo hold for piracy, and I don't know, but when I fly it, I feel like one of those refined bad guys, you know, the sort that would have been played by James Spader back in his day. You know, that Machiavellian scheming, sort of more, you know, suave villainous bad guy not just an out and out mugging thug like i feel when i'm in my cobra when i'm in the orca everything's slower more refined it really puts you in a fun headspace for piracy to be honest they're like a more refined genteel criminal not some back alley muggers running around whacking people over the head and a hash breaker in them instantly but someone you know with a bit of sophistication uh <laughs> Or at least that's what I think. Most likely, you know, let's face it, at this stage of how long I've played this game, it's probably all bollocks. It's just the space madness talking. But <laughs> that's just the way I like to think the orca makes me feel. Uh, as soon as someone drops in and starts shooting at me, it's going to feel exactly the same as all my other pirate ships, which is like, damn it, I need to go get a PvP ship. Um, you know, pirate ships don't have to be really powerful or strong you know if someone if someone's attacking you and they look at your modules and see you've got a hatch break olympics collect olympics and all the rest of it you're clearly not a combat ship um i always love the sweat lord pvpers that like um get all funny because they've pushed out a pirate ship it's like oh well done <laughs> do you want a cookie um, yeah oh it always makes me laugh when they like get really really over the top smug satisfaction about pushing out a pirate ship or like you know the fact that we actually hang around and have a fight with them in a pirate ship really should show something so when i'm in an orca i don't have that worry because no one expects an orca to hang around you know if i get attacked by a meta fdl i'm out there's just no way i'm dealing with it and the orca is a fun ship to do piracy in and escape um you know it's a really really nice fun ship it's also pretty handy at uh, scaring the police so here we have a bit of a robbery in progress you know um, just hatch breakering away getting as much cargo to spill out as possible so the police show up okay so someone has to aggro the police uh, Scooby's got no shields so I'm like okay I'll aggro the police and um, lead them away and uh, you guys carry on with the scooping so nice and simple just assault a police officer you know if you start shooting a police they soon change target and start coming after you 
I end up with quite a lot of police shooting me. Um, the shields on this thing, they're not the best. Uh, they're not amazing, but the speed is really, really good. Uh, so, you know, four pips of shields, two pips of engines. You can pretty much lead the police on a merry dance. And uh, that's what I want out of the shields on a pirate ship. I do run quite a lot of shieldless pirate ships, but you know, when I'm doing that, you always hope that somebody else leads the police away. Um, when we kind of all take it in turn, somebody's got to lead the police away. And you can see all those NPC red triangles shooting at me. The shields are nearly gone, but they're still there just about. And uh, the speed this thing goes, it's really easy to like just get out of their range, get your shields back a little bit, you know, and then flip around and go and grab one ton of the cargo before I leave. That's mission accomplished, that's piracy done, you know. Uh, the guys have done a good job of scooping, uh, we're chatting away, <laughs> talking about how much cargo there is to pick up, and I'm just leading the police around on a merry little dance. It is teamwork piracy a lot of the times. People are always like, oh, you jumped me three on one, oh, you can't. Now, a lot of the time it's crowd control, it's like a it's like a bank robbery you know to have people for different roles you know one person to keep a gun on them one person to raid the cash till, tills and stuff like that people to run interference you know it's all about making the most by working together and trying to get as much of the cargo as possible because you robbed the guy he lost the cargo the least you can do is actually collect some of it anyway that's all for this video thank you very much for watching i got my one ton distracted the police all that time and got out safely that's all thank you very much for watching they're robbing all of the commanders